Hi, I'm Kay Choi. Welcome to my channel. If you didn't already know, I'm a grad student in London and I'm currently working on my dissertation or my master's thesis. And I've also been getting a few questions or a few comments asking for a study tips video. So that is what I'm going to do today. And I'm also going to be asking for your help on my project, but I'll talk about that at the end of the video. Most of you have probably already finished final exams, so this might be a bit late, but maybe you are taking a standardized test that you're preparing for or you have summer school, so hopefully this will still be relevant and helpful to you. Number one, switch up your study spots. I alternate between studying at the library and studying at the cafe because I get bored and too comfortable if I keep going to the same place over and over again. And it also depends on what I'm studying. So for my finance and accounting exams during my first semester of grad school, I studied a lot at the library because I had to do lots of memorization and um, doing practice problems, so I needed a quiet space. But when I'm working on essays, um, I like to go to a cafe usually because I don't like to be just alone with my thoughts uh, while writing my essays, and sometimes I feel inspired uh, by the people around me. I rarely study in my room because my room is where I like to relax and sleep, so I don't want to associate studying and all of that stress with it. But if I'm feeling particularly productive or if I'm just doing a bit of reading, then I'll do that in my room as well. I have actually made a video of some of my favorite study spots in London, so if you haven't seen that, I will link that up there and in the description box. And as a side note, I include lots of information in the description box, including the camera that I'm using, um, where my glasses are from, etc. So always check that out. Tip number two is to divide up your study materials. I actually self-studied for the GRE and also for the SAT uh, back in high school, and all I did was I purchased books from Amazon, um, one for each individual section of the exam, and one that contained uh, practice tests for the entire exam. And I printed a calendar, you can do it digitally, but I like to have it written out, and I just looked at the chapters in each of the books and divided it up so that I could finish by a certain date before the exam. That way I was able to just tackle each day's subjects, um, each day's concepts, and uh, focus on that, rather than looking at a huge book that seems impossible to finish or digest. And when I divided up the chapters, I did it so that I had some leeway at the end, um, so that I had a week or two before the exam to review any concepts um, that I had trouble with, or just in case I miss a day, then you know it won't push uh, past the exam date. It's also very satisfying to check off or highlight um, every time you complete a chapter, so it's a little added thing that I like. Tip number three is set goals and deadlines. This is kind of similar to creating a schedule um, but this is more of what I'm doing with my dissertation, so in contrast to studying for the GRE or for my accounting exams, I had chapters that I needed to review and um, go over, but for my dissertation, I'm the one who's writing and who is conducting my own research, so I don't have materials to systematically go through. Instead, I have to be the one to set deadlines uh, for myself to send certain drafts to my supervisor, uh, to leave enough time for my supervisor to review, and all of that. So what I did was I worked backwards. Um, my dissertation is due on the 1st of September, but my goal is actually to have it completed in August because my mom is visiting. So I started with submitting my dissertation in August, um, so then I worked backwards um, to figure out when I need to complete everything to get it done in time. It's important to set these actual dates because otherwise um, time just goes by really quickly and before you know it, you might not have enough time to complete everything. So breaking it up like that really helps. And another thing, I mentioned that my mom is visiting in August, um, we're going to be doing some traveling, so that's an example of how I motivate myself to get things done on time and on a schedule. Um, if I have an event or something coming up, then I will really want to enjoy that fully and not work during that time. So that's something that helps drive me to really complete everything on my own deadlines. Tip number four, start early in the day. I know some people are morning people and some people are not. 
I am a morning person so this might be a bit easier for me but I like to start early in the day because it makes me feel like the day is catching up to me. Um, if I start late, I feel like I'm catching up to the day and to everyone else and that just adds to the stress um, that already comes with studying or writing a dissertation. I also like to try to get things done quickly um, or early on in the day so that I can enjoy the rest of the day and the evening, either spend it with friends or watch Netflix, <laughs> um, but either way, just not spend the night time stressing um, and then having that go into the next day. Starting early is also a good tip um, if you have a university library that does not have enough space for all the students. So it's really just being practical so that you can get a seat at the library if that's where you choose to study that day. Tip number five is listen to music. I probably listen to music like 75 to 80 percent of the time that I study, so most of the time, but the kind of music I listen to depends on the type of studying or work that I'm doing. So if I'm just doing some reading or maybe um, a lot of beginning stages of research, then I will listen to more calming, classical, instrumental type music. But if I'm feeling motivated or energetic or I have an outline of an essay and I just need to write it all out, then I will listen to something, I don't know, EDM-like? I'm not sure of the different genres exactly. What I will do is I'll link the Spotify playlists that I generally listen to in the description box below. So similar to how I like to go to different places to study, depending on what I'm doing, um, just music is another part of that in helping me be the most productive that I can be. The last tip is to eat well. This is actually the same as one of the tips I gave in my marathon training video, which kind of makes sense because studying may not be a physical activity like running, but you still use a lot of energy and it's important to eat enough calories and also eat the kinds of foods that will give you energy rather than uh, deprive you or deplete you of your energy and make you feel sluggish. Some snacks I like to eat are veggies and hummus or chips and salsa, which may not be exactly the healthiest, but I do like to make my own salsa, so I think that's a bit better. Or just fruits like grapes or tangerines, which are easy to eat while you're studying. I have a few what I eat in a day videos on my channel, so feel free to check those out if you want some more inspiration. Those are all my tips for now. Please share your own study tips um, in the comments below and we can all uh, be in this together. And I also wanted to take this time to ask you for your help um, with my dissertation research. So I'm using a questionnaire slash survey to collect data and it would mean so much to me if you are living in the UK or the US um, and could fill out the survey. Um, it will take five minutes. And if you're not living in the US or UK, um, you can still fill it out. Um, there will just be a part to indicate where you are living um, just so that I can analyze accordingly. So yeah, it would help me so much if you could fill out the survey. Um, it will be linked in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching and thank you in advance if you take the time to complete the questionnaire. Again, it means a lot to me. Um, I will see you in the next one. Bye!